Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run in this week's Feature Master Nightfall, which is the Arms Dealer. If we're doing it on a Hunter, you can see all the fragments, aspects and abilities that I'm using. I'm going to be using weapon-wise, I'm going to be using the new purpose, which is the fusion, the pulse rifle from Duality Dungeon. I'm using it because it's got adaptive munitions, which helps me with the void shields. Staccato for unstoppable, Galahorn for damage. Now, the main thing of the setup is we're going to be using Star Reader Scales, which I've got an elemental charge on. I'm going to be using Ar Argent Ordnance, and I'm going to be using Melee Wellmaker. So when I kill someone with my melee, I'll produce an orb, uh, a well, pick the well up, I'll get times to charge with light, which will then only proc when I use my rocket. Now, you can spec it so you get more of those. You can, you know, you can put different mods on that allow you to get more charge with light on. I felt like two would be enough. So when you start the strike, you're going to be greeted with all these guys, right? So what I do, what I like to do, is I like to get one of the champions out of the way very quickly. You see with that, obviously it's solar burn, so we take 50% more solar, but we do 25% more solar, which is why I went with a solar, basically a solar setup. Uh, what you'll find is when you get in here, there'll be a solar, there'll be an exploding barrel. I'll, no, I'm getting that out of the way. Before I used to use that, get the unstoppable to come up, stop the unstoppable, and the explosive barrel from the rocket shot would do more damage. We don't need to do that now, because one of the mods that we're using is Revitalize and Blast. Stop a champion, they take a big explosive amount of damage, and it's solar. So, it's going to do even more now. Uh, so, I take, I took the, the barrier, then I took the unstoppable. The explosions from Galahorn take all the other adds around. And that, that basically takes that section out of the way. In this section, the, really the... I mean, there's a, there's a lot of heavy duty ads. I'm just... What I done was I took the ship out as soon as I got here. There's no champions in the first wave. You get an unstoppable that's going to come after. Then I put another rocket down in the center, which took a lot of the kind of... Uh, littler ads. And that, that kind of clears this area. There's still... There's still some big ads here, but as you can see, that's that's... We're a minute 30 in, and I've cleared most of this area. Now, I know I'm going to get some heavy, so I'm not too worried about... about uh, I'm not too worried about saving my heavy. I'm not wanting to use it until, you know, if I don't see bricks on the floor, I'm not wanting to leave it that I've got none. So, let's talk a little bit about the weapons. The Staccato, the one I'm using, has explosive payload and triple tap, so you can see, especially with champions... It's got 15 in the mag, but uh, with that triple tap, I mean, it lasts a, a, quite a bit longer than the, the than the 15 in the mag because you're getting you're getting one back every three shots. The other thing I've got on is I've got uh, elemental is it elemental siphon? Is that what it's called? Let's have a look. I have got a harmonic siphon on. Now I'm using star reader skills, so when I get double kills with the staccato expressly, probably work with Galahorn as well, I will produce an orb of light. Star, Star Rita, the kind of main thing is, uh, you uh, once you get your super, I mean, picking up orbs gets you your super back faster anyway, right? But when you've got your super, if you keep picking up orbs, you will uh, overcharge your super and you can do it to times eight. The whole idea, you see, we've got Feast of Light. That's what it is. That's what the overcharge is called. Feast of Light. And you'll see here, this is the... You don't always get that explosion. I don't know why you don't always get it. Uh, I stopped that champion and, and never got it. Once we get up here, the, the initial rockets would have took most of the... Most of the, the, the dogs that were around. There's an orb down there on the right. Every time I pick an orb up, you see there now I've got these times two. Slam that. And now I'm going to wait for all these ads to come out. Now, you have to be careful at the point I was just at. That champion up there sometimes will just run. You'll try and stop him. You'll do damage to him. And then as soon as you hit him, dodge in behind one of the blast barriers. So just be, be aware of that. Uh, sometimes, especially if you're not confident with, with, with doing solo stuff, sometimes it's better to do damage to him and then break his shield before you do any heavy damage and then you can be guaranteed because you've already broken 
you can be guaranteed that he won't go anywhere. He'll just, he'll just stop. And then you can put a rocket on him. The unstoppable is not too much problem. You can just take him down with a scout rifle from, from range. No, it's just, we're just wanting to produce a few, you see there, I started to shoot that ad, but I didn't want, I didn't want to kill because there wasn't a second. I want to get Feast of Light times eight. Once I do that, because, because of the nature of this strike, once I get the Feast of, once I get the times eight, I'm not going to use my super then. I've got a uh, rocket launcher ammo thing, uh, reserves on, that allows me to carry eight rockets, which to get this one phase, uh, and it really is, we're not we're not gonna let the boss leave the platform. Get the one phase. I wanted to make sure I had everything to do it. Now my weapons are strong enough that I can take champions down just from weapons pretty efficiently. So once I at a certain point after the tank section, once I get I uh, probably will have eight rockets there, uh, with the ads that will be killing. Once I get the eight rockets and I've got feast Feast of Light uh, times eight. That's it. I'm just going to save them for the boss. When you get up here, I'm going to completely bypass this kind of ramp section. But what we want to do is make sure we take this uh, barrier champion down here. And that is because we need, that, we need him for... Uh, I tried to tried to throw it past that box. That, that did not work. <laughs> So I just gotta put a couple of shots. You need you need this barrier uh, to get platinum. Now on the last video I put out, which was my solo flawless shadow throne, I said about you know, I was gonna start streaming and stuff, and I was gonna put a link in. I I forgot to put the link in it. I I did pin it to the the comment section just to let you guys obviously let you guys know this run was done live on stream, and I just recorded it. I'm doing a separate commentary. I don't really like it when people just stick videos up with their stream commentary, and I, I don't, I, I don't like that. So I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to come and check out the stream or just support the channel by subscribing or whatever. I would like to have, I would like to do it. Well, I would like to build that, build the stream thing because I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully this week we get some solo. Uh, I done I done Shot Throne Flawless on stream last week. So this week we want to get Pet Heresy and work our way up to getting the, the duality done flawlessly. It's all about armor. Got to build the armor now on the account. Uh it is a new build I'm doing on stream, so it's not this account because basically I've done everything on here. So anyway, back to the run. When you come in here, you are gonna have a tank, and as you can see, uh because I had the Godslayer Warheads. Two tank, two two rockets every time. Once you've got them, well, kill that kill that tank. Now aim for the corners. You've got the front and left corner. If you aim for them, you do more damage. That is weak spot. That is the the the, the tank's crit spots. Once I cleared that, you will have an unstoppable. But as you can see, I'm just whittling down the ads. I could have put a rocket on them. There's two, the, so so in this room, you've got a bunch of ads. You've got some void shield ads. You've got an unstoppable, and you've got two barriers. See there, there's the Void Shielded Incendiar. He'll push up. Now, on this platform we're standing on, the closer to the edge you get, if you're standing right on the edge, the barriers will start to take notes off. So, you know, I'm, I'm just... I, I was wondering if I could get shots on the champion from here, but I decided take this barrier, this uh, unstoppable, and then I'll push up. The barriers have split up. So... I can maybe attack one. And you'll see it works pretty well here. Once once you take them, we've got more heavy, which is cool. Once you take the first, once you take these two barriers out, and you'll have two consoles you need to activate. The way I do it is I take out this this one up top. So we just, yeah, we should be okay from here. Put the rocket on, break his shield, that should kill him. But it, I didn't get the explosion. Second one has now wandered over, but it's fine because we've got all this cover here. And should we need it, which you can see here, I didn't. I could dodge and get my uh, classy restoration going. Now I'll put a rocket on the second one, back away so I can get good crit shots, and then we got the explosion. That's two champions down. I mean, it's pretty simple. 
Now I'm going to activate the two consoles. As you can see, I've picked up another brick of heavy. We probably will get another brick before the end as well. I, you're going to have three unstoppables come out here. You don't really need to use any heavy on them, and you'll see why. Main focus when you get to this point is the second tank. So get that out of the way. You're not taking massive damage from a from a, a source with unlimited range within this room. So you want to get that out of the way first. So again, aim for the corners. It will track the corners, and you can see it, those two rockets. Because I didn't have God Slayer warheads on, almost killed the tank. I had to finish it off with the staccato. At 25% additional solar damage in value. Again, one of the things that I, I, I would I should suggest is don't don't get too close or too aggressive in here. There's no need to. Now you see there, I literally stopped I stopped one with the, the, the scout rifle. And then the, the because the explosive rims, second shot stopped both of them. You see what's happening here? The explosions are damaging. You know, I'll get my classy restoration on there. The explosions are damaging each other. He thinks he's gonna get a stop. He thought he was he thought he was gonna get up close there. I would if if they spread out just a little bit more than what they were, you can use the explosive stopping them to damage each other. You know and I basically killed one of the unstoppables just from stopping him and then stopping his two buddies next to him. So what I'm doing here is I've got an opportunity to get a, a basically a free feast of light here. There we go. And I think this orb drops. I wanted it, so I went down after. And that gives me time six. I will probably be able to get times seven and eight so two orbs i'll probably be able to get them from the dogs that will come out after i kill the unsanctioned blaster now you can kill him straight away after you kill the tank but if you do that door will open regardless of the unstoppables are up or not door will open and uh you see there i got the got the throwing knife kill which just gave me my two god slayers i now don't need to use any rockets so we've got an orb so I just wait just a tiny bit because that is a cooldown on producing orbs from double kills. And I will pick second orb up, second brick up. I have Feast of Light times eight and I have eight rockets. I won't use my super and I will not use a rocket in this last room. There's no need to. Now, if I was speed running it, I could probably just blast through it, but you know, and hope to get another brick in here. Uh if I do see a brick, I will use heavy, you know, but I, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to need to. In this next room, you're going to have an unstoppable straight away. There's going to be a whole bunch of ads in here. Now, the way this room works, you've got your unstoppable, you've got two elite phalanxes, you're going to have Scorpius turrets, and you're going to have boy Brachazan he's he's gonna be hovering about how you get rid of him he is gonna get his little iPad out and he's gonna call up the Scorpius tanks if you kill the Scorpius turret sorry if you kill the turrets he moves to the next place and then on the next place if you kill them again he'll go and it just leaves you in the ads now I'm not saying you should prioritize the Scorpius turrets just be aware that that is what controls him so there's the unstoppable. He's just about to go. Once he goes, when you're shooting that that uh, when you're shooting that explosive tank, you'll see there. There he goes, and it'll be the same on the next side. So we had an unstoppable here, Brakasan, and all those ads. There's still there's still a couple of little ads up. This normally doesn't happen, and you'll see. I'm gonna break his shield. I'm gonna keep hitting him. The next time I break his shield, though. I'm not used to this barrier being there. Put shield up and fell. So I'm just letting him go. I don't need to take him just yet. So in this section, you're going to have these honored phalanxes. You're going to have two of them, which I'm going to get up here. And uh, it gives me a bigger view of the room. And I'll take out this. Uh, I could have used my, my uh, pulse rifle because it's anti-barrier. So if, you're, if you can aim for his head, through the shield, your anti-barrier uh, pulse rifle 
what I'll take him out. You'll see here, like, I don't know if I take the other tank from, uh, uh, there you go. I took the other turret from up here, and now Brachizan wants to go. So let's talk a little bit about the boss. If you've never seen me do a run, like, you know, for a while on this. When we were doing the GMs, you're obviously doing the grenade strat on the GMs, right? That's the way we were doing it. But there's no need to do that. Not, not, not in the master. So, once we clear this area, we've got two barriers still. I think this, there might st sometimes there's still a turret up. Just break this barrier shield. Hopefully get the explosions. It's big damage off the explosions with that 25%. Uh, and then, just make sure that you're, you're switching to your, your... When you're dealing damage to the barrier... Make sure you're switching to your your pulse rifle plenty of time to break, so the barrier doesn't get a chance to regenerate too much health before you start breaking the shield again. So that's one of the barriers. We'll take the other barrier in a second. You see there, I've got heavy, but I'm I'm not want now where we are now. I'm not wanting to take. Uh, I knew that I thought there was another Scorpius up there. I'm not wanting to use any more of my of my heavy because if I do use heavy uh, I'm going to use my chargeable light and I'm, it's not a big deal to get chargeable light back but I'm already perfectly set up for this all that's left now is the barrier and there's there's a honoured uh, legionary at the back there you can see and, and, and then that's what's left in this area for now what we're going to do is we're going to once we've killed these two guys we're then going to jump the chain now, it was an old strat we used to do in year one, which basically if you jump up the, the if you jump up the chain all the way to the last section, which is like the clean silver section, and then come back down, then active don't activate the lift till you've done that. So once we kill this legionary, this legionary, right? He's dead. We're not gonna we are not gonna activate that lift. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna go up this chain. What that does is it brings the boss out as soon as the lift becomes active. So what that allows us to do is fire all our rockets off before the... Because he'll just stand up there. Everything else works the same with the boss. You know, he's not going to pull his turrets out until we get up there and all the rest of it. Everything works the same. You see a silver section? But get up to there. Then what you do is you come down and now we can activate the lift. That will bring the drop pod in, the four the four guys will come in. Uh, I will, right, so this thing here, so I wasted, because because I was doing it on stream, I wasted this because I'd done about three runs of this. I changed my setup for this run I put on the Ardent or the Argent Ordnance, uh, and I was always just off for the one phase, but I never got the times, the times, uh, times eight feast of light which really made a difference so i was trying to shoot that heavy onto the left so i'd have another two rockets <laughs> but uh so what we're going to do is kill these guys once we kill these guys and then the left becomes active brachizan will just be standing up top now he will be trying to snipe you but not, you don't really have to worry about his snipes too much just you know don't don't stand out there allowing him to do it so you see that's the ads gone Gonna get down here, and as soon as you look up, you see them appear now. So now we're gonna start firing with rockets. The idea is to get all eight rockets off before you get up there. Now one of the fragments that we're using is uh, powered melees give you radiance. I could have I could have got a powered melee on that last guy, which would have gave me a lot more damage on my rockets. But you see here, one more rocket to fire. Now I throw my melee as long as it hits, we're good. Feast of Light, baby. Feast of Light times eight will finish him where he stands. And that's the run, guys. Very simple, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, I hope this helps you guys farm, because it's plug one this week. I actually got one with adaptive conditions, which I didn't even know it dropped for that. So, good luck with your runs. This is a very easy one to get materials and what have you. Uh, uh, good luck with your drops. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys check out the stream and come and support the channel. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.